We we'll just want to go straight into the business takeaway segment. And this business takeaway segment, we really want to talk about the startup bill we we'll say um, government put in place right now at this point in time. We always talk about enabling environment, enabling enabling environment. We think exactly be enabling, enabling environment. If we don't get the right policies, we don't get acts, we don't get bills to make sure say they put all these things into um, into the, make sure say they tick all the boxes as regards being an entrepreneur and as regards being um, um, a person where we say they're churning a lot to, to the Nigerian GDP. Now, why I bring um, a business lawyer, a person where we say we explain everything we say you need to understand about the startup bill, we will just summarize them and make you understand a lot as an entrepreneur, understand the bill where we say they just pass into law, and um, understand how if you use help you as an entrepreneur, have the enabling environment, business environment. We get four different key cardinal points we say um, um, they put in place as regards the startup bill. Mr. Omori Edio Garori. You're very much welcome, uh, sir. You know they get the name now. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> fantastic one. Good to be here again. Yeah, you're very much welcome to our um, famous um, stool. Um, basically, we want just for the kitchen now, we want just talk about them. We think exactly this startup bill. Entrepreneurs, um, some people, they talk, say, okay, there are sectors. Um, say there are sectors, they involved. Um, different, different statements from different entrepreneurs and people we say they do a lot. Key stakeholders for the um, tech industry, for the fintech space, for, for different, different industry, especially for the tech industry. What in exactly this startup bill got to do with um, Nigerian entrepreneurs at, at a whole? Thanks. Um, essentially, what the startup bill is trying to do now to provide a holistic framework we go regulate startups. Um, we go provide not just um, regulation, but also some form of governmental support for startups. Mm. So you find that a lot of people, they do business, there's a, a lot of entrepreneurship and startup activity going on, but it's not regulated. Mm. So the bill is coming to regulate, provide some measure of regulation. Um, it has nine cardinal points, okay. but essentially the idea around the bill is to provide a system of regulation, support, and improved access to finance and ease of doing business. Hmm. So one of the most innovative things where the startup bill they do is what they call startup labeling. Okay. So it has now provided a label or a, a, a definition of startups. You know, innovation-driven enterprises, hmm. less than 10 years old, with at least 51% ownership, Nigerian ownership. 51%? To 51% okay. Nigerian ownership. Okay. So, you know, that has helped. And then it, it will come establish what we call National Council on Digital Innovation and Entrepreneurship. So this council will go look at the issues where startups they face, okay. provide governmental and regulatory support. One other thing, now, we're going to now have a startup portal where startups can now... So, you know, for instance, technology, um, fintech, and all that, a, a lot of the startups and entrepreneurs I work with work yeah. in the fintech space. Yeah. And there's so many regulations, tech regulations, CBN regulations, and all that. Now, what the startup bill is looking at is to have a portal where startups can assess all the registrations they need at a go via one, one system. Mm. You know, so that startup portal will provide them access... Um, troubleshooting issues, yeah. just like what we have with Corporate Affairs Commission, where you can go to the portal, register your businesses, do your posting corporation. That is what we're trying to do with the startup portal. So what thing going to happen to um, Corporate Affairs Commission? Nothing. As when you just have... Nothing. Um, In fact, there are plans. The bill is looking at creating a fine admixture okay. of the the startup portal and the Corporate Affairs Commission portal. So startups mm. can actually assess their registration. You know, because one thing where they're very important, for you to be labeled a startup, you know, for you to come under the startup labeling, you've got to be a limited liability company. That's true. You understand me? So business name no will work. Yeah. You know, and all that. So it will help startups assess this registration system. So, you know, find um, a, a, a meeting point between okay. this corporate affairs commission portal and the startup portal where they go fit take assess this thing, okay. you know. And then... Finance, because one of the most important things with startups they face the challenge is access to finance, yeah, sure. access to funding, investments, and all that. So the startup bill is going to also be putting up a system of an investment seed fund that startups can assess. Once they meet the startup labeling requirements, 
once they come under the legal requirements as provided under the bill, mm. um, they'll be able to assess this finance. But then, um, people, um, based on what they happen for Senna claims, a lot of people, they always talk, say the work of the government is really, quote and unquote, quote and unquote not to finance businesses, but to create the, the, the um, enabling environment for businesses to thrive. We get private sectors, we get VCs, we get investors, we get funding, we get, um, carry out some kind of huge fundings into different businesses. We think exactly um, the government won't do as regards continue getting that balance to make sure, so they just, they maybe just create the environment, then investors will always find a place into um, the market as regards funding other businesses. Yeah, you know, like I said, yeah. the most important thing that the startup bill is doing is to create an enabling environment for startups to thrive. Yeah. You know, the Nigerian fintech space and tech space, essentially, is one of the busiest, one of the busiest in the world. And in fact, it would interest you to know that people from developed countries are even coming this way no, be lying. <laughs> to come and work with our tech startups. Mm. Their mouths don't they wide now, you know. <laughs> but what's, what's important is that in creating that enabling environment, so that's why, for instance, you have uh, BOI, you have CBN, even giving grants, you cannot separate governmental support from growing businesses. So regulation is most important. But even at that, after you have created the regulation, it's also good to finance. So BOI, for instance, gives um, interest-free loans yeah. to entrepreneurs and youth, youth, youth service but and Before you that. go collect that money, that. fellow entrepreneurs, they always tell me you go swear. No, not you really. Go swear. Not really. Not really. You know, the problem yeah. it is, is that oftentimes we do not understand the importance of having a structure. So, you know, like I, 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 I talk for, for my book. Yeah. A lot of entrepreneurs and startups understand their business, are passionate about it, but they don't understand the business of running your business, mm. which is the structures you need to put in place. Now, what's in the startup, this, part of what the startup bill is going to do is to put up a system where there's going to be a structure. You want to thrive in the tech space, you have an innovative tech driven development or um, sustainability uh, idea, yeah. come under this regime, work within these lines, okay. and then you can thrive. Pa so a lot of the challenges where yeah. they tell you now, say, oh, for instance, I don't tell you now, business yeah. they no go fall under this thing. Yes, so you can't do business, they can't tell you go do limited liability, you can't say they stress you. Yeah. Okay, if so you do the right thing, you don't know, get issues. Now, when did they pass this bill, they call different <clears> stakeholders, um, to come into play as regards the entrepreneurship lands, yeah, la yeah, la landscape. Yeah. But some industries, they talk saying that only the tech industry, they pay attention to, and um, majorly the fintech space. Now, different industry, they um, um, left out. Different industries, they left out. Within exactly you got to talk, we get, we, you, you, you get to say regarding that. Um, you've been a business lawyer for quite a while. And um, knowing fully well, say, if you leave out other industries, they get they, they get huge role to play as regards our own economy. Not be only the tech space, they not be only the tech industry. They we also get different spaces where they are um, very very pivotal as regards the Nigerian um, entrepreneurship space. That's 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 true. But you see, the day important we start in one place. The world is a global village. Digitalization and technology is taking the center stage. That's right. Right. So the startup, the qualification of being a startup is running an innovation-driven enterprise, technology-related, okay. right? Yeah. Innovation-driven. Um, which is the most important thing? Because, you see, we need to get a hang of te technology and how it impacts on sustainability, growth, and development, right? Most other businesses that are not innovation-driven already have, look, there are laws, there are rules, right? But... What, what the startup bill is looking at doing is to provide a harmonized system where a large chunk of entrepreneurs thriving in a very active space of business, mm. which is a tech and innovation driven space. And really, let's, let's even be honest, in the 21st century, there's really no business. Or 90% of businesses are innovation driven. We have the unbanked majority for this part of the world. Don't leave that out. Well, no. So if we get no bank majority, I will tell you. I will tell world, you. Yeah. For instance, do you know that 2021, at like the end of 2021, over three trillion, if I'm not wrong, was spent in POS transactions? What does that tell you? You see, anywhere you have money, you must have some measure of innovation driving its dealing, its use its acceptability, and, and all that. Okay. Do you understand what yeah, I'm trying to say? Right. So 
There is really no business. So even if even the woman where they sell Akara, check him. She don't get WhatsApp. Oh. She don't they post her Akara for WhatsApp. Okay, okay. So um, you understand? Final, on a final. So note. everyone is leveraging yeah. on technology to boost and improve their business. On That's why final, we're here in this on fine a, studio. On, on a final note, um, Mr. Uyi, um, a lot is happening. And they don't talk, say, okay, they, we get four different cardinal points. We get capital, we get infrastructure. What did exactly they do regarding the infrastructure? We don't get the right All right, uh, uh, um, Frank, because of time, we're going yeah. to need to wrap up for here. No vex. Uh, bros, sorry, sorry, say, we go us jumping like that because our time don't finish. If we're so not the way bros, here, not the knack we're not the coming for here. We'll so we'll like get to you again. We, you we, we go pay so. money where we, we, we not get. <laughs> uh -huh, no problem. <laughs> uh, my people, uh, no vex. Uh, if you want to follow, get more information. You know, as you go to follow Fabbo Frank to get all these better business uh, updates for there. Uh, we go carry ourselves. We'll come up for here tomorrow. We will come again on top on our screen as usual. And at the Good Morning Nigeria show. We'll go there here, don't worry. Uh, we we'll see Kajad. Ochuko, how is it? Now so it goes up be now. Tomorrow we'll go join uh -huh. now again.